Hey guys, today we're going to talk about pickups. So the question was, how do you pick a pickup? How do you pick a pickup? How do you pick a pickup? Anyways, and uh, <laughs> uh, so ironically, I was putting pickups in my guitar this week. So when that question came across, I thought, oh, good question, good timing. So here's a couple things to understand about pickups. First, you have to know what's in your guitar first. You have to know what pickups you are. And you have to have an expectation or goal in that when you're trying to figure out what pickups or what sound you're going after. Let me give you an example. If you like your pickups in the guitar, you think it's good and you want it to be better, it's going to be tough because no matter what you spend and do, you're only going to get about this much improvement. Because from good to great, it's a short jump. From I don't like it to good or I don't like it to great, it's a big jump. So you get more for your bang for your buck if you're just trying to improve the guitar versus just trying to make the guitar just, you know, 10% better. But it's on you. Now this particular guitar I was having an issue with, and here's what the problem was. I was having a problem with the neck not sounding big enough and full enough, and I was having a problem with the bridge. Uh, it sounded fantastic, I just wanted more, just a little bit more uh, kick. So what I did was I went online and I looked up the DiMaggio Ibanez pickups that were in it, and I got the specifications on them, and um, they were basically using a super distortion coffee with a little less output, I'm sorry, a little bit more output, it's more important. Super distortion with a little bit more output, and they were using a PAF, basically. So, what I decided was, the super distortion was a perfect fit, so I put that in there, because I wanted to just get the same pickup, but just a hair, just a little bit less, you know, output. And the reason is, is you, generally speaking, the more output, the more highs you get. It's just how it goes. Um, I was once told by um, the Seymour Duncan guys that, the more output you get, you keep getting more lows and highs. And then what I notice is, is that they're kind of accurate because when you look at pickups, when they're high output, you see almost like a mid scoop in the, in the, in the, in the graphic EQ uh, chart than when they show them. So there's a little bit of legitimacy to that. But the neck, uh, the PAF, it was too bright and bassy. I was just getting, you know, big warm chords that didn't sound really clear and then jangle. So what I did was, let's go to, <laughs> Number 22. <laughs> Number 22. Oh. Yep, turn on the volume. And uh, go to the neck, the neck pickup. And now I'm getting more warmth. More mid. Which is great for when I go... Let's go back to the leads. When I go back to leads... Let's turn it down. Those notes are just bigger now. So, that being said, the question is, how do you do that? How do you figure out where your pickups are and where you should go? Now, there's a couple of things you have to do, understand, too. I wanted to wire this guitar up a certain way, so I wired it up so that in the uh, four, fifth position, I have a bridge. In the fourth position, I am uh, coil tap. So bridge, bridge, and I'm right. In the middle position, I'm two humbuckers. In the fourth position, I'm actually the two inner coils right here. Okay. Now you've seen wiring like this a lot of times. It's backwards than what I'm doing. And then of course the neck pickup. Now the reason I did that is because I wanted in position. Two, uh, four when I go back to or maybe it's position two depending on the switch all the way forward back one I'm pretty sure that's position two but anyways so again I wanted to do that now there's a couple things about pickups first you got to make sure your height's right and you do that by your ear. I just raise and lower them to, to where they sound good to me. You don't want them too close or too far away, but you just kind of measure, uh, you know, you can measure it, but I kind of just measure it with your ear. In other words, I, I found the sweet spots I like. The other thing you have to do, I have a special tester, but if you don't, you need a magnet. This is an actual little magnet. And the thing you want to do, especially with pickups like this, where they're not using slugs and Allen keys, they're just using all Allen keys, you have to know which pickup's which. There's a north and south pickup on each one. So, with a magnet, any magnet, if you take a magnet and put it on the strings, you'll find that one side, this side right here, is pulling the magnet down into the strings, okay? And right here, this one is pushing the magnet away. I can feel it right now. So it's sucking the magnet down, pushing it away. 
right? So this one's pushing it away. Now this magnet is sucking it down and pushing it away. Now the reason that's important is in a humbucker pickup, you're going to have a, a, a set of you're going to have a pickup that has got north, south, a north and south magnets. Okay, and that's important. When you want to do it the way I did it, where in position uh, two, you're using the two inner coils, you need to make sure that they are north and south as well. So you got to make sure your pickups. One little fun fact is Seymour Duncan doesn't put logos on their 59 pickups. And a lot of times people believe that's because they put them in Gibsons a lot, you know, and, and they don't want the logo on the Gibson. You know, they don't want the logo if they see in the Gibson pickup. That's not true. They do that because it's real common to flip that pickup upside down, depending on if they want north coils or south coils, depending on how you want that middle position to sound and be. So that's why they do it. So you can flip the pickup upside down or not. That's the main reason. Okay, so it's important. And then that's some of the things you need to think about too with your guitar. You know, I had a guitar a couple months ago where it just wasn't sounding good in the middle position. I just took the neck pickup, flipped it upside down, put it back in, and it fixed my problem for what I was doing. That won't always work, depending on your wiring and what you're doing, but it is important. So again, you need to kind of verse yourself in pickups a little bit. It's important to meter your pickups. You need to know what the output on these pickups were. The output on the other pickup was 13K, 13.8. And this one is 12.6, so I dropped just a little bit. The output on the uh, the neck pickup on the old one was 9.8, and this one actually is like 9.3. So we didn't drop too much, just a little bit. So again, I just want to take a little bit off that. And again, that's an easy thing to do. You just put it on a multimeter. Maybe if you guys have questions about that, I'll show you how to multimeter and check your pickups, but it's very important to do so. If you're dealing with pickups, because you need to know what you're doing, you know, right? Are you putting in something like it or different? So again, the trick with pickups, when you're saying pick up, pick up, you have to do your research and figure out stuff. And um, it's, it's not as easy as just, you know, buy a brand of pickup. All right, guys, I just want to say, as always, check out the Facebook page, Know Your Gear, down link below. And thank you for your time and know your gear.